Welcome back. So glad to see you. So glad you're here. My name is Haiku York, and I help people raise their vibration. <sighs> now today, I wanted to share with you what has helped me to raise my vibration, raise my vibration, to feel more of this positive energy, and to just overall feel in a better place. Now, the first thing I would say is just, just take out your hands like this. Just place them over your heart. Just take a nice deep breath. Can you feel that heartbeat right there? Thank you, heartbeat. Thank you, heart. I love you. I love you, heart. Without our heart, we would be... <laughs> <laughs> so just wherever you are if you ever feel a little bit lower just feel that heart take a nice breath and just thank it for being what it is the heart doesn't have to wear a mask or put on a show it just is that is what makes it so powerful Whoop. <laughs> the second thing that really helps me to raise my vibration is through movement. Movement and moving the butt. Ooh. Ooh, ah. Movement. The more you move, the more you feel. Hmm. What do you like to do to move? Do you like to exercise? Do you like to dance? Do you like to shake your body? Many people have many different approaches, but movement helps us to tune into our body, and therefore, tune into our heart. And the highest vibration in the body comes from the heart. So when you take your awareness out of your head and your perceptions, and what are, what are you thinking? What are thoughts of everybody and everything? You let it sink down, your heart. That is when you just say, oh man, I love feeling alive. <laughs> so movement. Moving, exercising, sprinting, running, anything that helps you to move your body and to break out of patterns. If you're doing the same movement over and again, you might get stuck in this pattern where your brain just takes over. Even though your body wants to express itself, you say, nobody, I want you to do this one thing over and over again, and therefore it shall be. The third thing that helps me to raise my vibration, which is a miracle, is... Ooh, that's my favorite one too. Food. Food and water. What have you done today? What have you eaten? What have you drank? I actually love lemon water. I have some right here with me. I'll give you a quick live demonstration. Let's get a little thing of water like that. A lemon like that. helps to alkalize your body and to <sighs> raise your vibration. The food you eat has a big impact. Eating live foods, choosing more foods that are alive and green and healthy, just like nature intended it to be. 
It will help you to raise your vibration and to feel that amazing positive energy. <laughs> and not just the food and the water, but also the stimulus. What do you do that stimulates your body? Any type of stimulus can either lower your vibration or raise it. Focus on what it means to your body. Focus on what this stuff means deeply. For example, the media you engage in. Is it positive, uplifting, educational, or is it sinking into sort of reactive state where you don't know what to do and you can't really do anything about it, but you're just feeding off that energy like, oh, oh, it's so, oh. <laughs> the news is a good example of this. Watch the news if you want a good example, but I don't recommend watching the news. <laughs> Another very good thing I like to do to raise my energy is to just be more playful and laughing. Not take yourself so seriously. Being playful is our true expressive nature. Just, if you ever feel disconnected from how you, I don't know, how you should be acting, or what will help you the most, what will make you feel good. Watch babies, watch little children, and just watch them go. Watch them do whatever they do. And you'll see they're playful, they're energetic, their emotions flow without restriction. They don't hold back the emotions, they just express it and let it out. Extremely healthy, extremely healthy. Hmm. So, be playful, laugh more, and another thing that helps to raise my vibration is taking action on your dreams. <gasps> wow! Oh, that was cool. That was like a sign from the universe. <laughs> Take action on your dreams. Now, what are your dreams? What are your desires? What do you wish to manifest? Taking action to not just go towards your dreams and pursue or to chase after your dreams but instead to appreciate them appreciate your dreams the more you appreciate what you want the more it will appreciate you Ooh. create 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 woof create what are you creating? What are you making and sharing? Share with people. Give a compliment. Give motivation or inspiration. Tell them, yeah, just like what they're doing. Tell them, I like what you're doing. And some people, they feel like, oh, I don't know if I, I should be doing this right now. Maybe I should just be going with the flow, going with the natural the natural, right? The natural progression of life is to go work for somebody else. Now, perhaps you are not called to go and take the same path as a lot of other people, a lot of your peers, who might be looking down on you for taking your own path. Now, that's okay. I believe in you, I trust you, and I wish for you to manifest all your intentions. That I intend for you to manifest your intentions this coming from this perspective is so powerful when you wish for other people to achieve their dreams <sighs> last thing I'd like to say is just take your time what's the rush <laughs> you have a lot of time to figure stuff out and so you don't have to be rushing to find the goal. The goal will find you. <gasps> what? <laughs> so, 
I hope this helps you. If you like this video, feel free to like it and give a thumbs up. And if you haven't already subscribed, please do so. It would be very much appreciated. Thank you. So much love. I love you. And... Namaste.